Hi everybody, David Bott here from OutsiderBubble.com. Today I'm going to talk about satellite and satellite reception for television. I get asked quite often on the road, um, what do we use for satellite and why? Well, there's two companies that you can use, and that's DirecTV and Dish Network. Now, what a lot of people don't understand when they get a new coach is they got that dome on top of their RV. The problem with that dome is, while it's great for what it can do, um, the, the downside is, is if you want high definition, you cannot use DirecTV. The reason being is because of the bands that they use, KA and KU bands. And the problem is DirecTV, the LNB that's inside that dome is not compatible with the high definition satellite service for DirecTV. However, Dish Network is. So if you're looking for a service provider and you want full high def all the time, um, if you're using a dome, then Dish Network is really your choice. And Dish Network in regards to the RVer goes actually has, uh, they're the only company that has a pay as you go program. So you can start and stop service as you go. And also they have a dedicated staff for RVers. So if you call in because you have a problem, you can actually request the RV department and they'll transfer you to people who better understand your situation being an RVer. Now, there's also different types of satellite dishes. You got the dome, which you mostly see on every uh, RV that is produced a class A coach for the most part. And then you have the, the traveler system, the wine guard, where you see them come up off the roof and they lock in. Um, they also have portables, of course, that you can manually set up outside your coach. Now, the advantages of, of the different things is if you use a dome type system, if it's an in motion system, as you travel down the road, you can actually be watching television as long as you have clear reception and not going down a corridor with trees and what have you. It's pretty amazing that they can do that actually. The second thing is the dome, the, the not the dome, but the uh, dish that comes up off the roof. That's really simple. You push one button. Uh, when you when you have to, you get parked and set up, you push one button, it comes up off the roof, it finds the satellites, it locks in, and you get all the satellites that you're supposed to get at one time. Now the advantage of that is you don't hear that dome switching satellites zzz, zzz, you know, every time uh, you try to do something. And you don't hear the dome in the middle of the night searching for a signal because it has to go get the guide. And th some of those domes are quite noisy, as, as some of you may know. So it's a really big advantage. You can also use a DVR when you're using one of those dishes because you can get multiple satellites at one time and therefore you can record multiple programs at one time. You really can't do that with the dome unless the television station you're watching is actually on the same satellite that you want to record from. So there's you know pros and cons to, to how you want to do it and then of course you have the manual where you have to set it up yourself outside. But in any case, so if you're thinking about and you don't have service, which service to get, uh, Dish Network, in my opinion, would be the way to go because you do get uh, pay-as-you-go so you can stop it at any time without penalty. You also have high definition if you're using the dome and it, it's, its software is just wonderful to work with. DirecTV has, of course, the NFL Sunday ticket, which a lot of people like because they can get the NFL package when they're on the road. However, remember though, blackout restrictions do apply. So if you're used to uh, being in Buffalo and, and watching the Buffalo Bills, and that's where your hometown is, and that's where your service is ascribed to, if you're in California and Buffalo game is blacked out, you will not be getting the Buffalo game. So just a heads up on that. Unless they've changed that, and I'm mistaken, but I do believe blackout restrictions apply. Um, and the other thing is Dish Network has what they call the NFL Red Zone, which is every game going on simultaneously that you get to see every time they get into the, the Red Zone, uh, which is the 20-yard line or closer, they, they watch those games in, in real time. And then they'll also switch back and forth if nobody's in the Red Zone, they'll switch back and forth between plays. It's literally seven hours of uninterrupted football because there's no commercials or anything and you see the plays, the key plays, and all, basically a lot of the plays on every team that's playing. It's really quite interesting. Um, didn't think I'd like it at first, but I really do. So anyways, Dish Network, DirecTV, uh, high definition, not high definition, that's only dome related. And the tra wine guard traveler dish that comes up, which is I believe is my personal choice. I have both. I've never have used the dome even though it came on the coach and I use the traveler all the time. So in any case, this is David Bob from Outside Our Bubble. I hope this has been useful to you in some way um, because I get asked about it all the time. Take care, keep safe, and we'll see you on the road.